Putrid stink of dishonesty hangs heavy in the air here. Or maybe it's just the Brahmin. Hey, Synth. I've been waiting for you. So, what's our situation? I assume you've been briefed. Our targets are inside. Four synths under railroad protection. Majority of the settlement is uninvolved and are expected to run for cover. The mission's parameters just changed. We go in shooting. Requesting they backup go? relay now.
We're not backing down. We're going to protect what's ours. Yes? Hey there. I can't believe you'd do that for us. Thank you. Excuse me. You've given us another chance at life. We won't forget it. Hi. We'll get somewhere safe as soon as you're gone. Hey. Thank you for sparing us.
Hey. What do you want? Wait there. Roger. Holding position. Son, you know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. So why come out here? To put things in perspective, I suppose. Standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. Why refreeze me? As a failsafe, of course. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. Why let me out now? After all this time? That's... Well, that's hard to explain. Certainly, it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment, of sorts. I had no idea what kind of man you were, you see. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you... After all this time... Attempt to find me? And now I know the answer. Was it worth it? I believe so. Soon, I hope. I hope you'll understand. Everything I've done has been for the future. A future which I hope is not in jeopardy after recent events. Bunker Hill did not go well for us. Would you care to explain what happened? It's my fault. I wasn't able to complete the mission. I gave you this opportunity to prove yourself. Particularly to prove to the Directorate that you deserve a place here. That will now be significantly harder. There will be accusations that you deliberately sabotaged the mission. Bunker Hill was to cement your place as a valuable asset to the Institute. It will now only raise suspicions. And to see the Brotherhood of Steel involved in this? They had no way of knowing what was going on. I will refrain from sharing the outcome with the Directorate for the moment. Things are already in motion that this would only derail. Speaking of which, 
It's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen you now. It's time to go back in. Hey. Over here! Hey. Ready. Paladin Dennis. What's on your mind? Your thoughts? With the Brotherhood behind us, we'll never fall. Didn't have anything else. Not a problem. Really walk the freedom trail. By yourself. You from one of those vaults? You got too many teeth to be a scabber. Desdemona. I don't want to talk about Blackbird. Carrington is sure to give me an earful about it. One more hour until my shift ends. Hey there. Another Mila placed and even more data. I know another building that could use a Mila. Or we could just do some shopping. Let's see what you got. Oh, you got it. Mr. Finch. Am I ever glad to see you? We could really use a hand. The Minutemen are always happy to help. What did you need? A pack of feral ghouls is holed up nearby, and some of them have started wandering out lately. If more of them start wandering out this way, we may be overrun. We need someone to clear them out. I'm on it. It's as good as done. I'll be glad to have him gone.
Greetings, sir. Anything useful? Six eighty eight speaks highly of your combat skills. It, this is quite an unusual location. Does it have anything to do with the Brotherhood? I wouldn't necessarily say that. This isn't a formal meeting. I simply want to clear the air. I think we may have gotten off on the wrong foot when we first met, and I feel like I owe you an apology. Expecting you to embrace the standards of the Brotherhood without having a history with us was unfair. And given that you've adjusted so well to our beliefs, 
I don't think I needed to push so hard. You worried that I'm gonna quit? No. I just felt it was the right thing to do. When I was an initiate, my sponsor was Paladin Krieg. Toughest squad leader I ever served with. He was a model soldier, embodying the values every trainee was striving to achieve. Fiercely loyal, secure in his beliefs, and brave to a fault. From the moment I was assigned to his squad, I was singled out. It felt like he was pushing me harder than the rest of the team. I fought by his side for years, and we had some seriously close calls. But he never explained to me why I was treated that way. Did you ever ask him why? I'd considered it, but unfortunately, I never had the chance. After I was promoted to Paladin, and I'd moved on to my own squad, I received word that Krieg was killed at Adams Air Force Base. The news was like being kicked in the stomach. I mean, I'd lost some of my brothers and sisters before, but his death... Well, it really got to me. It's taken me a long time to realize it. But the reason Krieg was so tough on me is the same reason I'm so tough on you. It's because I believe in you. And I don't want to see any of your potential go to waste. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. Just keep doing what you're doing. Well, I've said what I had to say, and I hope that it meant something to you. I trust you'll keep this in confidence, of course. Some of that information was of a personal nature, and, well, I'd like to keep it that way. See if she had anything. That's not possible.
may have a problem. Getting late. Maybe we should look for shelter. conversation we had where I pretty much said you were my only friend did that sound nuts
Hey, Piper. Heading my way? Heading my way? You sure you want to travel with me? You kidding me? I thought I was gonna die of boredom without you. You know what? Never mind. You know where to find me. Hey. Aching too much to talk too long. I should sit down. Hey, Valentine. Time to hit the road? You interested in traveling together? Sure. Could be fun. Not now. Well, I'll be around if you change your mind. Took care of those ghouls that were giving you trouble. You did? That's great news.
sweet.
Captain Ironsides. Our hero returns. What a glorious success. True, the mission is not quite complete.
sorry. Tinker Tom's got me doing something. Up there, assume you're being watched. Always. Up top, you gotta be careful. You never know when you're being watched. One less courser. Data accepted. Material reward dispensed. Deacon's record is the best. Hey, Glory. You. You're the real deal. You actually made it inside the Institute. You really walked the freedom trail. By yourself. Everyone's all, you've been hitting the cams way too hard. But I got my eyes open. I see. <clears throat> hey, you placed another one of my babies. Bring in that yummy data. Could always use more Mila's place. If you're interested. Or you could just do some shopping. Let's see what you got. Oh, you got it. since God. Tinker Tom's cooking up. Help you. A synth before glory. Got a lot of synths in play right now. Makes things really dangerous. One more hour until my shift ends. You from one of those vaults? You got too many teeth to be a scabber. Since out of the wealth, wastelanders can be a bigger problem than even the institute. Feels like you can take on the world in there, doesn't it? Desdemona. Caretaker used to work HQ. After switchboard. Well, I'm hoping running your safe house will be good for both of you. I hope that you take that armor behemoth off on covert missions. and dance. What's on your mind? I 
think it's time we split the team. I'm not going to lie to you. I think this is a foolish decision. But it's yours to make. Come back alive, soldier. of this screw-up. That synth was a prototype. It was absolutely not ready for field testing. The mess it caused in Diamond City threatens decades of work to keep us out of the spotlight. I will be very clear. My legacy as director will not be tarnished by your division's mistakes. I am going to find out exactly who approved any sort of operation above ground, and that person will be held fully accountable. to see you. Unit X688 speaks highly of your combat skills. Have you seen J522 around? He didn't show up for duty. If you encounter a hazardous chemical spill, please alert the facilities division immediately.
requested another synth memory cassette. May I ask for what reason? If I said so. Isn't that reason enough, Doctor? Very well. I'll schedule it in. sent that Libertalia was a real menace. Glad it's back where it belongs. Good, we're all here. I think it's time we begin. Sir, Excuse me, but what exactly is he doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ayo has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes, um... Watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. We're still monitoring the increased activity around Ford Independence, but there are no immediate signs we should be concerned. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on Phase 3? Uh, sir, are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all parties present? Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about Phase 3? I don't think so. It's all right. I wouldn't expect you to have. The project has been classified from the beginning. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. What kind of compromises? We have at times had to rely on drawing power from above ground installations. It risks personnel and equipment, but no longer. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Can you tell me more about this reactor? Certainly. It was originally built for the Commonwealth Institute of Technology before the war, but was only for testing. Over the years, we've advanced the technology, made a great many improvements, and are finally nearly ready to activate it. The reactor is close to ready, but recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to Phase 3, and to how you will help. Sir? Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yes? Well, he is gone. While I'm not overly fond of putting my own father in harm's way, he has proven more than capable of handling himself. Uh, y yes but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please, as I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. Why? Please, be serious. everyone, 
Please, I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you, but we're running out of time. You're dying? I'm afraid so. A very aggressive form of cancer. Believe me when I say we've done everything we can. We can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my father as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? Seems a poor choice. How can you possibly justify this? He isn't one of us. He isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline, insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my father has already proven himself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. X688 sounded very impressed with your work at Libertalia. He doesn't give praise lightly. Oh, no. I often wonder what the Institute's founders would think of our accomplishments. I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Father. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. I don't know if I'm right for this. Well, I clearly have faith in you. There's no question that some of the Directorate, and the Institute at large, will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead, for all of us. But for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. <laughs> Doctor. Whatever it is, it'll have to wait. Sleep is such a waste of time. I'd rather be designing more efficient plasma computers. Hi, Sean. I heard you're going to be in charge of the Institute someday. That sounds like a lot of work. Are you excited or scared? You heard that, did you? From who? Oh, I heard Dr. Higgs saying that you weren't qualified, and we'd all be lucky if we lived another two years. He's so funny sometimes. 
Tell me some more about Father. Father? He doesn't come to visit very much these days. And even when he does, he usually just talks to the other doctors. Dr. Lee. You again. What do you want now? You're obviously here for a reason, and you've already spoiled my experiment, so you might as well spit it out. I've been sent by the Brotherhood of Steel to find you. You don't beat around the bush, I'll give you that. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. I'm only here with good intentions. You have my word. You're giving me your word? Even though we just met? Fine. Hmm. Since Father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Say what you came here to say, and then leave me alone. Are you happy here? You'd think being surrounded by cutting-edge laboratory equipment and some of the greatest minds the world's ever known would be enough. Are you happy here? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I am surrounded by... Are you happy here? You'd think being surrounded by cutting-edge laboratory equipment and some of the greatest minds the world's ever known would be enough. Only problem is the lack of transparency. I don't think we get the full story on everything that occurs down here. What does that have to do with why we're talking? The Brotherhood needs your help, Doctor. Needs my help? Why? They seemed to have everything under control when I left. Did you abandon any projects you wanted to complete? You should know better than to ask me that. If they didn't tell you what I was working on, they didn't want you to know. I'm certainly not going to put my neck on the line and spread their dirty little secrets. Tell me something. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? Father trusts me, and so should you. He trusts you because you're family. I'm not. I can't just take your word for it. I need more than that. The Brotherhood has always been straight with you. You're wasting your breath. I'm a... I give up. What would it take to convince you? All right. I'll play your game. I had a colleague down here. A Dr. Virgil. Several months ago, there was an accident in his lab. And he was killed. I wanted to help with the investigation, but Father had the laboratory sealed, saying that it was contaminated. The incident never sat right with me. The more I asked about it, the more I felt like Father was deflecting my questions. If you bring me solid information on what killed him, I'll take it as a favor from the Brotherhood and consider your offer. Do we have a deal? I know this may come as a shock, but Dr. Virgil is still alive. I met him myself. Oh, please. Do you really think a cheap tactic like that is going to work on someone like me? Stop trying to avoid the legwork by lying. Either you get me the evidence, or we have nothing else to talk about. Deal? I already have something that might convince you. How did you... Never mind. Just let me see what you've got.
How do I know you'll honor our agreement? I never promised I'd return to the Brotherhood. I said I would consider it. You're just going to have to trust me. If the Brotherhood didn't, they wouldn't have risked sending you to find me in the first place. Now hand it over. Here you go. A holotape? This better not be a waste of my time. To me. They lied to me, and I didn't even realize how far it went. All those years of loyalty. For nothing. At least the Brotherhood never lied to you. I'm such a fool. I came to the Institute to get away from the Brotherhood. From the whole world. I just wanted to do my research in peace. Father took me in and gave me access to cutting-edge technology that I only dreamed existed. <laughs> I became jaded. I thought that the Institute cared, that they wanted to better mankind. <sighs> Maybe in their own twisted way they still do. But now I realize if you can't trust the people you're working for, then it's all pointless. If they lied about Dr. Virgil, who knows what else they've been lying about? Or what their plans are for my work? I'll make my way back to the Brotherhood, but I'm going to have to do it on my own. I can't take any chances being seen with you. Tell whoever sent you that they've just regained the services of Dr. Madison Lee. It's about to get busier. You're going to lead this operation, I'm told. I need some details here. I have no idea what I'm getting into. Of course. That's why we're talking. Otherwise, you'd be up top already. Recent events have upset our timetable. Getting the reactor online has become our number one priority. It needs to be running, well, yesterday. We're going to have to cut some corners. I'm not thrilled, but it means we'll need to rely on some pre-war tech. You're going to the Mass Fusion Building to acquire a beryllium agitator for us. What's a beryllium agitator? The details would be lost on you. No offense. The point is, it'll allow us to boost the reactor's power and get it running sooner than planned. You just keep me safe. I'll worry about the agitator. Is that really necessary? I'm sure I can handle this by myself. Yes, it really is. Not only is this tech sensitive, it's old. Look, I'll take care of it. You just make sure I come back in one piece. You're going? That complicates things. Not really, no. I admit I'm not fond of going up top, but I promise to stay out of your way. This device we're after? It's very sensitive equipment, and it's pretty damn old. It's not that I don't trust you, it's just that I trust myself more. So, are you gonna put up a stink, or can we get moving? 
Sounds good. I'd appreciate the company. Not as much as I'd appreciate coming back in one piece. I don't like going above ground unless there's no other option. But here we are, with our options dwindling quickly. Not to put more pressure on you, but we have to move quickly on this. Word is that the Brotherhood is nosing around the area. We don't want them getting the agitator before we do. Head on up to the relay, and I'll meet you there. Attention! Any soldiers who have not yet received a field assignment from Proctor Teagan should speak to him at once. That is all. I received word that Dr. Lee is returning to us. How cooperative. Elder Maxon. I received word that Dr. Lee is returning to us. How cooperative do you think she'll be? I think she's confused right now. <laughs> no matter. Given the proper motivation, I'm certain she can be persuaded to see things our way. As soon as Dr. Lee arrives, we'll interrogate her aboard the Pridwin. She's been under the Institute's influence for the last decade, and we can't afford to take any chances. Now, on to other matters. Thanks to the success of your reconnaissance efforts, it's time to advance our operations to the next phase. I want you to report to Proctor Ingram at the airport. She has a special project that requires your immediate attention. Once again, Knight, you don't fail to impress. Dismissed.
gladly lay down my life if it keeps humanity from repeating the apocalypse. You know those synths with the plastic faces? Ugh, they creep me the heck out. Give me a laser rifle and my power armor, and I'll take on the world. Put two in the head, and I'll stay dead. Advice to live by. I don't know about Sprite Naraya. I think she loves her little zoo a bit too much. Well, well. The Institute wants Things me to get something be going called a Beryllium Agitator from the Ruins of I was having Proctor Quinlan research a way to start Liberty Prime's reactor. And then this falls into our lap. I wonder if the Institute needs it, or they're just trying to keep it away from us. Either way, we should both head over to Mass Fusion to get our hands on the Beryllium Agitator first. That's if you don't mind a little company, of course. Why would you want to go? Are you kidding me? Mass fusion was on the cutting edge of atomic technology. And considering there hasn't been much in the way of engineering advancements lately, that makes it a goddamn gold mine. I'm not gonna miss an opportunity like that. It would be helpful if you tagged along. I knew you'd see it my way. Grab whatever gear you need and meet me on the flight deck. But don't take too long. This could be our best chance at securing a power source for Liberty Prime. over to Mass Fusion as soon as we can.
Proctor Inc. The Institute wants me to get something be going called the Beryllium us. Agitator. I was having Proctor Quinlan research a way to start Liberty Prime's reactor. And then this falls into our lap. I wonder if the Institute needs it, or they're just trying to keep it away from us. Either way, we should both head over to Mass Fusion to get our hands on the Beryllium Agitator first. That's if you don't mind a little company, of course. No way. You're staying here. Hey, I might be walking around with metal rods shoved into my spine, but I can still take care of myself. Do I have a choice? You're the boots on the ground around here. I'm just a glorified mechanic. If you don't want me to go, I'll stay behind. But you won't be making my holiday list this year. Forget it, Ingram. It's too dangerous. <sighs> Fine. Have it your way. I just hope you don't bring back a paperweight by mistake. Grab whatever gear you need and head up to the flight deck. But don't take too long. This could be your best chance at securing a power source for Liberty Prime. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. You need to get over to Mass Fusion as soon as you can.
Thank you.